Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robbo. And I'm English Gent. And Are you sure? <laughs> not usually, but uh, yeah, this is a really exciting day for me. I don't know about you, but it's me. First God, time. explode. <laughs> first time going to Disneyland Paris. Uh, we're currently stood um, at the Hotel Shan or what looks like the Apache standoff outside of uh, Fort Apache. <laughs> Slides. So yeah, TPs, forts. See you soon. <laughs> so we're here, um, kind of a surreal, it's really surreal because Main Street is very similar to Main Street on in Walt, Walt Disney World in Magic Kingdom um, and it's, it's everything's the same but different, what about yourself? Yeah it feels a bit newer. Everything feels newer, a bit cleaner. I don't know if it actually is, but it just feels newer. We're out amongst people. <laughs> when I look down the street, it feels a lot more compact and a lot smaller. Yeah, yeah, lower. It feels kind of, yeah. But, let's see where we are. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad boy. Pretty. Um, it's smaller, etc. 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 in Disneyland in California, but I get the view from the rear end. I'm really looking forward to sort of exploring it, so that's what we're going to do next second. Yeah, we'll go and have a look around the castle. See you shortly. We've been around the castle um, and now to go on right we've never been on before. Uh, it's a dark ride, uh, Pinocchio. A uh, five minute wait, not bad. Let's go.
So we just got off Pinocchio. <laughs> uh, what did you think? <laughs> wow, that was a bit trippy. Uh, yeah, it was a bit like <laughs> Pinocchio in five seconds. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually seen the film. Yeah, and I couldn't, I couldn't understand, obviously I can't understand French. So I couldn't really follow along what was going on very much. It wasn't but much it's weird. to follow, but it was just, yeah. There's it's also happened. just little, little segments where people are talking, but it goes really fast. It's a time over each other. But it's weird, it did bring back memories of one of those, you know those little flip things where you look inside when we were a kid? Yeah. Really old ones, and you'd look inside. And I, and I seem to remember, like with the, the, the fairy or whatever is at the end. Yeah. We barely saw on the right. The blue fairy, yeah. Yeah. I just remember seeing seeing pictures of that, so. <laughs> just kamikaze pigeon. It's got sweet by a pigeon. <laughs> right, let's go to the next one. Um, yeah, let's do, oh, your favorite. Jumbo. So here we are, with your favourite ride in the whole of Disney. With my heart condition, I don't know if I can take the assignment in this ride. Might be too much for me. How do you on your favourite ride ever? Who's a naughty boy? Apparently you've got to stay looking forward at all times. <laughs> You're told. So, we just got off the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and uh, what did you think? Sorry, I'm distracted by Captain Jack. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. More drops than I expected. I fe it felt bigger than the one at Disney World. It felt a lot bigger, yeah, like twice the size. It, it was one of the, because it, it raises you up quite a, a way. Yeah, I was actually expecting it. And then you keep going down different levels, yeah, until beautiful. you get to a bit of a drop. It felt more authentic as well. It, I don't know why, but it just felt more... Oh, definitely, yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll we'll go
Yeah, so on next is one of our favourites, and I've heard really good stuff about this one. It's um, Big Thunder Mountain. So let's get on there, shall we? Yeah, might even do it twice. Five minute wait. So that was the first time round on the uh, Big Thunder Mountain. What do you think? Oh, so good. It's a lot more enjoyable than the American one. So, simply because <laughs> it's, huge. it's a lot more enjoyable than the, the American one because it's a lot longer. Um, it just feels like a, a better ride, you know, because it's bigger, a lot better. Um, speaking of which, let's do it again. Yeah. Five minute wait. So we're getting our steps in today. We'll talk about five hours later. Hang on to the hats and glasses because this year is the wildest ride in the wilderness.
Haunted Mansion, Phantom Manor, even. <laughs> and what do you think? I, I like it. There's some nice touches, but it's. it's I don't think the, the story is as clear. It kind of meanders. <laughs> I don't know the story for the other one. No, I mean, the other one's got a classic story. It's very simple. This one, all of a sudden, this one all of a sudden turns into Beetlejuice in the Wild West. <laughs> towards yeah, it did get a bit green. All the green creatures and stuff. So it went from being kind of like in crypts and graves and buried bodies to like a town underground so it's a bit like okay um i felt like it was the same basically i didn't see any difference i felt like when the ceiling goes up at the beginning that's better <laughs> what <laughs> no it, i i enjoyed it what it was i i like the actual house more I think yeah the manor looks the more... outside of it is so much better where you kind of walk up to it feels like the house on uh psycho yeah um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It's got atmosphere. It's, it's, it's basically called a mansion, but with an extension. Yeah. Um, but like I say, for me, the story was less defined, even more than the original Haunted Mansion. So. Right. But it's pretty. Yeah. Nice here in Vincent Price. Yeah. You're a very naughty boy, very naughty boy apparently. So, we just did Hyperspace Mountain, and uh, what did you think? Completely different to Space Mountain. Um, yeah, I didn't really put the two together as such as rides. It no. felt like, that ride felt like more like the Aerosmith ride yeah. at um, Florida. Yeah. 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 Um, no, the Star Wars theming actually was, it, it's weird, because you've got the Jules Verne stuff going on, and then it's Star well, Wars outside. Over, all over, so. Yeah. Once, you once, you're in, once, once you're inside, inside. it's very Star Wars. Yeah. The strangest part for me was the French accents, yeah. because we're not used to hearing any sort of Star Wars with, you know, incompletely French. Unless so you've you watched it in French, of course. But, um, but the projections were amazing. It, I, I really thought the most effective parts were like things like laser blasts, hyperspace, 
they work really well because it sh showed up really, yeah, like so much saturation of colour. And I mean, the projections aren't amazing, but because you're moving so fast, you don't yeah, really notice it really, anyway. Yeah. yeah. No, it's good, but it's, it's quite it's, it's quite jerky. It's a bone rattler. Yeah, it's quite jerky. If I'd known it was going to be like that, I would have literally, same as um, Big Thunder Mountain, I would have sort of gone squeaky bum time, knowing what it is. But actually, it was a nice surprise. I feel a bit whew, woozy after it, but... Yeah, I do feel a bit woozy. But we could do with some food, to be honest. But I really enjoyed it, actually. Yeah, I, I really, really yeah. liked it. We'll go on again, but I wouldn't, it's not one I think I would definitely go on directly afterwards. I'd give myself a bit of time to oh. breathe. <laughs> really? <laughs> But then you've got the Nautilus right behind us, which is, that's, I've always, so um, I've loved this ship since I was a kid, and to see a realisation in person is rather beautiful, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Really? I've never heard you talk about the Nautilus once. I watched it literally twice over the last summer. Girl. Hello, what's up? Would you like to stay or something? Sure. Okay. Did you like this coffee can to me? I feel like I'm in some German dungeon. Kind of loses the effect when you see all the pigeons climbing all over it, taking okay. a shit on it. The oldsmith could make it so it went below, it means only like a foot of water flying. So. actually stormtrooper. Stormtrooper after it's been messed up by a seat. Oh that's the sugar rush I needed. And now for the seagull accident stormtrooper. It's a crispy waffle with um, you did overcook a bit, overcook that one a bit. It's not the overcooking, not bad. That's actually quite nice, it's crispy. You're going to do that face again. I'm not even going to say what that looks like. <laughs> oh, Rob. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Told you to go before we got to the park. <laughs> yeah. It's like a doughy. Yeah. I don't have no waffles in a while, but yeah, just do do anything with uh, like Nutella over it. Well, in that case, you can have the powdery stormtrooper because I'll have a Nutella. It's, kind of, it's a nice crispy waffle. Yeah. 
Like I say, I haven't had waffles in a while. Don't feel like I need waffles again anytime soon. <laughs> well, you never know tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, lick those fingers. Lick them. Much, much later. So just quick update. Uh, this is Darren's mask. And this is the other side of Darren's mask. Because someone got into teller oil <laughs> all over the inside of his mask. Look who messed the bed. <laughs> <laughs> So the park's closing, it's 8 o'clock in the evening, and that's basically the end of our first day at uh, Euro Disney. Considering we started here at what time? Late afternoon? We four. got here just after half four. Half four thirty, now 8 o'clock, and we've managed to fit loads in. Really look forward to coming back tomorrow, and hope you can join us too. Later on, or the next episode, will be... Eating. Eating steak. <laughs> steak. Uh, so yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye. Good. Right, next up, one of our favourites in the US. Actually, probably one of everybody's favourites in the US anyway. It's the... Uh, the uh... <laughs> and start again. Mine train? Uh, runaway? Runaway train? Uh, train van. <laughs> cool. Just check back with us in a minute, we'll be with you in a second. <laughs> Want to say the name at the front? That's what I thought it was, but I can't see it. So. We're on the Disney app, weren't it? Um, Where's the Disney app? <laughs> Where do you find the map on? Five minutes. Click on the map. We're still rolling. <laughs> so, sorry, I had a brain fart. <laughs> <laughs>